Good morning, Diane in Denmark here. It's a Saturday morning. I hope you're fine and well. And let's start as we always do. Let me just grab my pom poms and give you a little rah rah rah. I uh, hope you're fine and well this morning. Uh, and as I said, it's Saturday. Uh, just a quick check in with you today for two things. We're going to zoom through our morning routine. Hopefully, you're out of bed uh, and already on your way. And if not, you, you know what's coming next, don't you? And the other thing, let me just grab it from behind you, is we are on to uh, day 39 of our 40 day declutter. Can you imagine that? And, I mean, it seems, I was going to say, it seems like ages ago we started. Well, we started it 39 days ago, obviously, before we went on to lockdown. Um, and, and if you're like us, uh, you are already on lockdown. We've been on lockdown for weeks. Uh, you may just be coming into lockdown, but you know, we're, we're on this together and we're putting one foot in front of the other. And, and that's why I've been checking with you extra, just making sure that you're doing your basic routines so it doesn't all, you know, so, so you don't have to go crazy, even if the world uh, is going crazy. Um, and, and I mentioned this on Instagram yesterday, but uh, yesterday marked the start of the Danish school's Easter week. Uh, in, in Denmark, the Easter break is always the week running up to Easter. And then on uh, Easter Monday is the last um, break day. And then they go usually go back to school on, on the Tuesday. That, that's how it works here. Anyway, uh, my kids have been on lockdown for weeks. So <laughs> we'll be staying home as usual. Uh, not, not really any change there. But they don't need to get out of bed uh, at the crack of dawn every morning because their school schedule uh, for high school and also for my husband, they, they've been working normal hours. So anyway, we're, we're looking forward to a nice, quiet, uh, more quiet week uh, next week. Anyway, uh, let's get in, dive right in there with our morning routine. Uh, and, and if you haven't um, made up a house management binder, control journal, you know, what, what, call it whatever you want, whatever motivates you. It's really good to either have them written down and in a place where you can tick things off or on an app, something like that. J just because it gives you that mindset of, oh yeah, you, 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 know, you know what you're supposed to be doing. You know, instead of having all this kind of craziness, you don't need to go crazy. So um, I, I'll, I'll go through mine. Uh, and hopefully that will give you a bit of inspiration. And, and if you need tips and tricks of what to work on, uh, whether you are working, uh, you know, whether you have a job usually that's outside of the home or whether you work from home uh, or whether you're a carer or whether you've got 10 small children under the age of three, it, it's all in my Flyleader Refresher course videos. And if you press on the screen there, woohoo, by, by the magic of technology, um, the, the playlist will come up, okay? So, and also any of the terminology, it's all in that um, refresher course thing. Um, right, starting from the top, from the top, two, three, four. Um, I had breakfast, oh, lovely coffee, hot rolls, um, and shower, um, dress to shoes, check. Uh, and my outfit today, this blouse that I really like, um, was a close swap party blouse. Can you see that? It's a uh, broderie anglaise with like little uh, daisies in it. And also my jeans were from a close swap party. And my earrings today, even though we can't travel, we can travel <laughs> with our memories. Uh, these were ones that I got um, from the family when we, uh, it was my birthday, when um, my 50th birthday, when we went to pick up my son who'd been in the States uh, for a year during high school and uh, we went to pick him up uh, once he graduated and, and we he was in um, Washington State and then we, we travelled a bit before uh, bringing him home uh, and, and I got these when we arrived in San Francisco for, for my 50th so, so there we go that's uh, so, so even if we can't travel right now you know, you can go back and, and think about things. Uh, if you want to see any of my uh, travel videos, because I've put a lot of things on there, our visits to uh, Tokyo, um, to other places in Japan. Um, when I went to Nice, when I took my besties to Nice for my 50th birthday on, on the Côte d'Azur, you know, in, in the south of France. Um, trips to see mum in Edinburgh. I've got a trip to Greece in there as well. 
uh, and, and lots of stuff from, from our Swedish summer house. If you're needing a wee kind of mini vacation, if you click on there, it, it's all in the same playlist, you know, about uh, life in Denmark and Huga, how we do the Huga uh, and travel. Anyway, all that to say, dressed to shoes with my uh, clothes swap items. Uh, uh, have you done a lol today, an LOL, a load of laundry? I don't actually have to run one today, hooray! But I probably will be running one tomorrow because I'll be changing sheets as part of weekly blessing hour. Uh, dishwasher is already run and emptied, woohoo, go me! Uh, swish and swipe, I did that in the bathroom uh, after I'd had my shower and did my hair, actually washed my hair and uh, blow dried it this morning. Uh, bed is uh, remade. Uh, and I'm just about to close the windows. I, I've been, um, I've already done my kind of self-preservation task for today. I um, changed change the colour on my nails. So I've just been doing that and I always like to have the windows open when I'm, uh, you know, putting on nail varnish. So that is done. Uh, my uh, zone work or weekly home blessing uh, thing. I, I normally don't bother with that the weekend, though yesterday I did do a wee quick hoover and a mop of the kitchen because of course the family is home 24-7. Um, and, and the kids are cooking and whatever and uh, I baked a banana cake yesterday. So so the high traffic areas are getting a wee bit more attention. Uh, as I said, just a quick hoover uh, and, and a, a mop and it just keeps things uh, looking nice. Um, my exercise for today will probably be a walk or a run. And um, the, the last thing that of, of my uh, daily routine is to make sure uh, after we've had dinner that the everything is cleared away in the kitchen you know I, I've told you before whenever we've had our evening meal the family helps afterwards you know when we rise from dinner everybody puts away things in the fridge uh, wipe off the surfaces in the kitchen make sure the sink is empty that, that that's uh, basically my the end of my evening routine and I'll uh, set up the coffee so that in the morning I can w wake up smell the coffee and uh, that, that's a really nice start to my day oh and my outfit for the day um I haven't looked that out yet I, I don't have any laundry um, and I folded all yesterday's stuff and put it away because I managed to get it dried outside um, but I'm, I'm going to do that now when, once I've finished uh, making this video and I hang it on uh, the, the two hooks on the back of the bedroom door here and that just, uh, as I said, was it yesterday or the day before, it just gives me one less excuse for hanging around in bed and I know that I've got an outfit and I can get moving forward. So get moving forward Diane, come on. <laughs> I've already been speaking for seven minutes. Yeah, the other thing I was going to check in with you is for our... Ooh, 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 hold on. Uh, hold on, let me just grab it. Yeah, we are on to woo -hoo, uh, day 39 of our challenge. And yesterday I was in the garden shed. You may work, want to work by Fly Lady Zone. You know, we've been in zones one and five this week. You may just want to go randomly uh, around the house uh, finding stuff and I've got something here to I've got a pair of earrings and I've got two of these uh, pairs of earrings which are like blue pearls let me show you they're, they're not black I don't know if the, the camera will pick that up they're actually blue and I've got these ones as well and these are a wee bit bigger with a bit of sparkle Hold on, can I zoom in there? I don't know if it's going to pick up. Um, and and I don't I don't fancy those ones so much that they're a bit small for me. And if you follow my videos, you you know that I love the dressing your truth um, system. It really helps me narrow down what I like and and makes me understand what. I like of my clothing what what doesn't work for me and why it's like it's, it's like the science of you know well why even if it's colors that maybe suit me why does it not uh why do I not feel it when, when I'm wearing it and it's a, it's a great thing if you're looking for a capsule wardrobe it stops you buying stuff again and again that you're you're not actually going to use uh, and these ones I, I, I've realized I, I like jewelry that's on a bit on a, on a bigger scale so, so these ones I'm going to keep and the other ones, they are going to go. And just a case in point, let me just uh, talk about something that I had the other day. Yeah, here we are. Do you remember this scarf I was kind of humming and hawing about? And I've decided that, no, that this is going to be, uh, this is going to be a giveaway item because this, to begin with, I was thinking of just cutting it off, but it's the whole pattern of it. The pattern is too... Um, it's not kind of distinct enough and it's too, uh, 
and then in dressing your truth uh, speak you say it's too kind of connected now this would be great say the, the colors are nice um, and this would be great if I was a type one maybe with a secondary of two which is a bit more soft not quite so um, high contrast uh, and, and as a type one we, we, we can go from like medium contrast to high tr contrast and I'm a type one four which means I like uh, kind of bolder uh, prints I like color blocking not so many colors like th this is enough for me today it's just going for uh, you know, white, white and green, uh, and uh, my, my usual uh, pearls and a, and a wee bit of colour. Uh, and, and I'm not into things that are like too many uh, things into the mix or too, uh, things which are too busy, which like might be like a secondary three. So I've decided that, no, that the colours are nice, but I'm, I'm, uh, when I wear it, I just don't feel, I don't feel like that, woo, that kind of, and I need that little woo when, when I, um, when, when I dress my clothes, because I mean, otherwise, what's the point? You know, why, why are we holding on to these things if they don't make you feel terrific? So that is uh, my other item for today. And remember, do, just go for one thing. Quite often you'll be looking, you know, uh, you know, say, say you go into a kitchen drawer and you find something and say, oh, oh yeah, actually that can go. And no, I don't like that. So, so the, the aim behind it is just to be constantly aware of what you've got surrounding you, especially right now. You're, you probably realise, you know, you've got all these books and you actually don't want to read them even right now when you've got the time. So ju just um, one foot in front of the other and everything will be okay. So anyway, I'm going to get on with my Saturday. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm going to take the wee bunnies. Um, if you haven't already gone through uh, any Easter decorations that you have, you, I did a video about that recently, uh, maybe you want to uh, have a look at your Easter decorations see, and see what, what you like and what, what you're not using. Uh, th these are ones that I got a close swap party. Is it funny? Uh, they, they're called Bunny and Clyde. And <laughs> everybody at the close swap party, they're picking them up thinking, oh, it, it looks like uh, chocolates. Don't go eating these. So anyway, on that note, uh, live long and prosper. May the Danish hoogie be with you. Kind of mixed weather today, as you can probably see with the light coming in and out in the bedroom here. Uh, and I'll send you on your merry way with a rah 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 and see you very soon. Okay, rah rah rah.